Hello everybody. Alright, so we're doing a requested video and this is one I think I probably haven't done for a while. So here I am coming in totally nudie nails. Alright, so this is what I do to prep before I do my nails. So I have a few things here. This is a pumice stone or pumice stone. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, and it is shaped you know as a cuticle pusher and then this is a glass one again pumice stone and then a little pointy now you can use either one of these they work the same for me it's just that I found the glass is pretty slippery where the plastic handle on this I can keep a better grip on no big deal and then a file this is one that I like it is diamond cosmetics 320 grit is why I like it you guys because it's not super strong it's not gonna take off a ton of your nail you know uh, the flip sides 240 I don't use it a ton and then I have a cuticle nip here and I have a little soft cuticle pusher and that's about it that's about all I use so okay nails have been removed hands are washed clean. So first I'm going to nip any little stray bits I have going. And it's winter so I swear I always have stray bits going. And it's just little, you know, whatever's. Little hangnails and such. I don't know if you're supposed to pull hangnails. I don't like to. Personally, I'd rather cut them broke that poor guy today okay so <clears throat> the soft cuticle pusher works great for pushing your proximal nail fold back but it won't push any of your cuticle because it's just not strong enough right so we're gonna go through and that's your proximal nail fold is that skin around your nail so we're pushing that back easy peas and I try to keep up on this once a week but I swear even at once a week you guys it's not enough sometimes it's just not I don't know why the cuticle is strong with this one and it's always harder on this hand for me to do you know non-dominant hand and all there we go now whether or not you use a base coat is up to you. So here's kind of how I think a base coat. If you are new to doing your nails, I wouldn't use a base coat because you cannot lift your color street strips up and move them around. Really, any, I don't think any brand. If you have a base coat on, then once you put your strip there, it's there. So I wouldn't use one until you've at least applied a few times you know and you know like what size you need where you have an idea of how you like to put them on um I wouldn't give yourself the stress <laughs> until you're ready but I always use a base coat otherwise okay let's see what do I have yeah that'll work okay so now let me see I don't even feel any cuticle on that one but some of these had some this right there can you see we'll hope that you guys can see where it's roughed up there a little that's that like invisible invisible cuticle that grows up and you just gently slide this little pumice back and forth and it'll be gone in no time And then wipe over it and it's gone so why do we care why do we care about that mainly because your nails can't stick to it one sec I hear tartar meowing at the door okay 
the little tar is in. Our around um, the house, like halfway up there, you can really see that one. Um, is like a brick edging, and so when Tardy's ready to come in or beef for that matter, they will stand on it and just meow a few times at us. Aren't they smart? And I can use this glass one too to show you. I just found the glass one to be slipperier for me, guys. That's all. Works the same, just slippery. And right here is where I find I, I miss stuff, right in that little nook. And this one's good, and that one's good. It helps if I run my nail over it. Then I can feel where there's little bits that have snuck back in. And now if you're new to doing your nails, more than likely, you're going to have quite a bit that needs to get, you know. And don't get crazy with this. Just push it back. If it only goes back, you know, however far, that's okay. The next time you do it, more than likely, it'll be a little more pliable. I got a little bit here I can see. It'll be a little bit more pliable. It'll push back better for you. And it's not taking off your nail. It's only taking the cuticle bits. There you go, you guys. That's how I prepare mine. Now, um, I would either wash my hands or I'm not a fan of these alcohol swabs, you guys, because I feel like uh, they're drying. So if I use them it's usually the convenience of I'm making a video and I don't want to go get I don't want to go wash my hands <laughs> you know but um wash your hands with a good dish soap because it'll really cut any greases you have and then your next step would be to decide do you ought to shape anything I usually stay up pretty good on my shaping like almost I do it out of boredom this one needs a little and so like try not to do the ch -ch 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 -ch. but if you do do it like once to the middle once to the middle once to the middle once to the middle if that will help with your like sawing a lot of people use glass files um, make sure you get a good check glass file if you're going to I just don't like the feel of a glass file. It gives me heebie-jeebies. And then that guy's broken, so he's just going to have to live a bit. And there you go. If you had anything crazy, you could use your buffer, okay? Like, if you had a big, I don't know what you would have. Like, this little teeny bit of a, where it wants to peel... I can buff that down so it doesn't cause problems. But don't just buff your whole nail to buff it because you're just doing more damage than good. Try to leave it as is. So from this point, I would go to base coat. But I won't put that on because I'm assuming you know how to put on a base coat. And you will pick whatever, you know, works best for you. Or if you're new and just getting practiced, try not to do... A base coat till you till you know your placement because you can't lift them back up you guys there's your warning your triple warning all right i hope that helps <laughs>